This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the use of drugs. What's up, everyone? I'm Lil Key Fish, and in this video, I'll be breaking down the herbal nootropic known as St. John's Wort. This is a flowering plant often used as a natural remedy for depression because it contains many chemicals that act on messengers in the brain that regulate mood. Your body does not make St. John's Wort on its own, so in order to experience the antidepressant effects, you must take it as a supplement. Additionally, clinical use over the course of thousands of years shows that St. John's Wort operates as a wound healing agent. It's also been used to treat a wide variety of internal and external illnesses dating back to the ancient Greeks. I'm going to do a full breakdown of the major discoveries from professional research and discuss many of the key important findings from the scientific literature behind it. Plus, I'll cover everything else you'd want to know, including the benefits, history, side effects, dangers, pharmacology, and much more. Let's get into it. Scientifically known as Hypericum perforatum, St. John's wort is an herbal ingredient used in therapeutic products for the treatment of skin irritations, depression, anxiety, and insomnia. The herb itself is a beautiful star-shaped yellow blossom and is named after the Roman-born preacher, John the Baptist, who lived during the first century. Around the Middle Ages, the herb was used as a talisman for warding off evil spirits. Moreover, June 24th is known as St. John's Day, and this is when the plant is in peak blossom and is best harvested during this time. The urban legend has it that if you place the flower under your pillow on St. John's Eve, St. John himself will greet you in your dreams and bless you with good luck until next year. A few millennials later, St. John's wort has still remained a popular treatment for anxiety and wounds like cuts and burns. Let the healing power begin! Recent clinical evidence shows that it can even have effectiveness in fighting against cancer or bacterial and viral diseases. The majestic yellow flowering plant is generally sold over the counter as a dietary supplement at your local grocery or drugstore, although a handful of European countries only offer it as a prescription. Alternatively, the supplement can be found at vitamin stores and through the internet. These days, St. John's wort is most commonly sold as capsules or tablets. However, you can still find it in the form of powder, tinctures, teas, and oil-based lotions. Some of the main takeaways from studies and clinical trials done on St. John's wort suggest that it's more effective at treating depression than placebo and can be a good alternative to prescription antidepressant medications like SSRIs. If you've had problems with using SSRIs in the past, St. John's wort extract may be a good option to try out. I think it's time we tried alternative medicine. It does not produce the same side effects as many pharmaceutical antidepressants presence given out by doctors. One of the big advantages is that no withdrawal symptoms occur when you stop St. John's wort. That's incredible. It's incredible. Furthermore, users tend to report that the herb often works sooner than expected and gets better over time. Something important to note is clinical trials demonstrate that the amount of antidepressant effect of St. John's wort extract is entirely dependent on the concentration of hyperforin. Hyperforin is the fundamental antidepressant ingredient of St. John's wort. It inhibits the uptake of the essential neurotransmitters known as dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. It inhibits synaptic uptake of all these chemical messengers with approximately equal affinity. It provides neuroprotection by decreasing oxidative stress and reducing brain inflammation. In return, this may be an effective treatment for related neurodegenerative disorders like Parkinson's disease. St. John's wort can also inhibit tumor cell growth and has robust antibacterial and antiviral properties. Plus, it helps provide better focus and fewer symptoms of obsessive compulsive disorder. Antidote is something as simple as St. John's wort. Users report an end of procrastination, less irritation, and better mood. It has tendencies to take the edge off situations that would normally stress you. Many people report that feelings of anxiety are either less or straight up non-existent. I feel so much better now. Ooh. Women going through menopause report becoming more emotionally stable when using St. John's wort extract. This results in mood swings no longer being an issue. It can even help reduce the side effects of opium dependence by reducing withdrawal symptoms associated with it, meaning that it can come in handy when trying to wean off opiates and possibly kratom as well. If you think or know that your depression is caused by serotonin imbalance, you are a prime candidate for having success with St. John's wort and feeling the mood lifting benefits from it. But the psychology and physiology of our brain is a no! complex matter, and everyone's brain is wired differently. If your depression is more of a dopamine issue than a serotonin issue, or your anxiety is due to other factors like hormonal imbalances or stomach issues, you may not experience much benefit from St. John's wort. The dosages vary from person to person depending on what the goal he or she is trying to achieve from using the supplement. For mild to moderate depression, it is generally recommended to take 300 milligrams three times per day. For severe depression or persistent anxiety, the suggested dose is 900 milligrams once in the morning and once again at night. And these are the recommended doses for IBS, premenstrual syndrome, nerve pain, and OCD. Just like anything, St. John's wort can have side effects, but they tend to be relatively mild. Users sometimes
sometimes will report an upset stomach, fatigue, headache, lethargy, or dizziness. There are a few notable precautions with St. John's wort, so I'll go ahead and list a few of them. In those that are predisposed to having schizophrenia, St. John's wort may increase the risk of psychosis, and people with severe bipolar disorder are typically advised not to take St. John's wort. Another caution is that it's possible that it can interfere with getting pregnant or flat out make infertility worse. Moreover, it does have potential to interact with medications during surgery, so anyone anticipating going under a surgical procedure should think about avoiding St. John's wort. If you plan to add St. John's wort to a nootropic stack, be aware that it can dampen or amplify the effects of other supplements. This is all happening so fast! It's always smart to check if there are any interactions with that stuff before doing it. Taking St. John's wort with SSRIs, SNRIs, or MAOIs can lead to serotonin syndrome, which is never fun to deal with. So be wary when thinking about combining it with any of those. Personally, I use St. John's wort when I feel like my serotonin is in a deficit. This is the opposite of what I would do when I'm deficient in dopamine, in which I would instead supplement with uridine. Watch this video next learn everything there is to know about uridine and how it can be life-changing by naturally increasing your overall dopamine levels. Uridine is one of the building blocks for our genetic code, and without it, life in general would not be able to exist. My name is Fish, and I stay low-key. Peace out.